Round one. Oh, round two. Yeah, man. Beating those out in the cold woods in the frosty neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. That's what Santa says. No more. He says, hey, 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 yo. Peanut butter snowshoe balls. Just gotta put the chocolate on. And here's my hotel in Grand Marais. Get some sleep for the night because we're going to get up early in the morning. Early! It's like my college dorm. It's a blustery, quiet night here. Hey, Graham Murray, you can walk right down the middle of the street. I'm going to go meet Miyagi and almost Jeremy and Bradley over at the uh, Voyager Brewery. I think it's just down the block. There's the other scouts from my troop. Two of them wearing beanies and one of them wearing a toque. Right. Early morning. Early? Hit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing that for me because I get so sick of doing it. Hey, we're just walking along here. And, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, what a gag. Heading to the woods, going for breakfast. Okay. Okay, let's get back to the food because that's appetizing. How bizarre is it if I cut my toast? Oh, look at that! A Julia Child butter. made that on. Very. Miyagi has a has a volleyball set for us here. Nets, balls. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. oh, here he comes, the Royal Guards. Now this guy's a little top heavy with that hat, but his pulk is squared away and neat and tidy. By the way, that's Midwest Backpacker, and I found out his uh, trail name is, is called Almost. Are we almost there yet? Well, we trot along here to get to the sunny part of the lake. Going at a reasonable pace. Had to put snow uh, snowshoes on now because we got to back into this lake, and the snow is deep enough to warrant that. Because we're post holing a lot, and that gets tiring. Jeremy almost up ahead. Toots, Adam, Bradley, Miyagi behind. I'm Shug and I'm out camping with other people. And I gotta say, as much as I usually dread that, I'm enjoying it. I met these guys all at Hangs, but I've never gone out for a camping trip. So four days here. Am I scared? No. It's fun. Woo, buddy. idea was it to bring this hot tent anyway?
I don't know, but this is what a hot tent people go through. And they have been down here shoveling. The, it's like you guys agree, the snow is really powdery. Six hours we've been doing this. Yeah. Sugar. It's sugar snow, so you, yeah. when you shovel it, it just kind of just falls just away. falls right back in. But we have so much room for activity. How big is that hot tent? It is uh, 14 by 12. 14 by 12? <laughs> wow. Boy, that's still as <laughs> deep over there, bud. Here you got a shovel. He represents the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild. And if you're going to join the Lollipop Guild, we welcome you to Snowy Land. The sad part is, if you know Miyagi... I'm actually this tall. That snow's only <laughs> two feet deep. <laughs> I think, uh, where, where are you setting up your, your spot there? Now we're kind of tucked away back up in the woods up here. So we're having this meal prepared by Jeremy here because everybody had a night where they cooked a meal. And I was sort of left off that list, so I just brought ribs to supplement. But tonight was his night, having these ramen noodles with chunks of beef and sauce and it's uh it's fantastic goodness gracious that's good eating that was over pretty boy mm -hmm. yes sir it's coffee time out here in the woods with some dad good oro and some espresso it's a mild morning, maybe 23 degrees, a little light snow coming down. Had a good time with the fellers, but I need to brew before I talk to you. Realized I kind of forgot to tighten my tarp up before sleep last night, because uh, the snow is so powdery. When I was setting the stakes yesterday, you know, you put them in light, barely tighten your lines. And, uh, you know, kind of out here winter backpacking with some people that you never winter backpacked with. You chit chat and getting to know them. Great guys. I had a fun, fun, fun day and night. And, um, yeah, looking around at some of the chores I got to do this morning. Okay, well, let's uh, get the second sip of my Dragliadoro instant espresso. It's just, it's just perfect, and I slept so warm and good. Using my original Superior Gear hammock with the uh, it's a 30 degree with the 30 degree called a comforter, but it's this blue top quilt that also turns into an under quilt that snaps onto the outside. So I got two 30 degrees. So man, it's just beautiful. Those guys are kind of like holed up inside the hot tent, having a little confab, cooking some breakfast. We got no fire going outside yet, <clears throat> so I'm using the old MSR Whisper Light, probably about 30 years old, to warm my water. Didn't get up too early, early. And uh, I would say it's about 23 degrees, and it just feels perfect. Oh, got myself a big boil. Oh dear. A little, little bit of... What would this be? A little bit of deliciousness here. That is, is that a frittata? Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it that. We're canceling each other out We're now. We're canceling each other yeah. out. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, you betcha. In the sock. Fried bread, baby. Miyagi fried bread. Serious. Serious, man. You were talking about this and it's happening. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, friends. Yeah, and everything. 
we were sitting there going, please don't come down here, please don't come down No, here. it's all good. I mean, we would have said, no, you can't stay here, but it's so, been fine. <laughs> this guy, Dan, he remembers me from the state fair, so it's weird you come out into the boundary waters or something and run. Oh, yeah. Because they looked at me and went, Chuck? <laughs> and it's like, and it's kind of cool that it happened in front of these guys because we were having that talk last night about, does anybody ever recognize you guys from YouTube? Or we're like, <laughs> Woo, buddy! buddy! Yeah, tell them that about the hammock. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's brought a lot of folks over to Hammock Hanging, and uh, those videos, especially long time ago on Hammock Forums, oh, sure. .net, oh geez, that's where I found them. But you're, you're not hanging in the hot tent, are you? That's Joel. Okay. Um, he's set up in that hammock. Um, Is he in a hammock in that? Kurt's oh, that's his lines coming out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Kurt's in another hammock wow. up there. Um, he's in the lone wolf tent. Uh, Joel's in a one tigress. I'm in a one tigress that looks more like a wall tent. What are you in? Are you? There, yeah. All We're the all hanging. Yep. The tribe! You want to show yeah, you I do. I want to see, man. You guys... Yeah, you guys got it. Yeah, this is kind of a nice spot. I like the size of it. Yeah, it's good. It's just a cut. It's a 14 by a half by 14 and a half tarp. I take my ham out down when I'm not using it. You got a war bonnet? Yep. Yeah, I didn't recognize the buckle. Yeah, that, that's the that's the setup. Nice man. That's cozy. I'm getting a little envious of all you stove guys, you know, because I've always been like I like to just be in the elements. Yep. So I Oh you got a superior gear. Oh yeah. Cool, that's I'm rocking mine too. How do you like it? Oh, I love it so much. That's great, man. Woo! Buddy! Buddy! <laughs> nice. <laughs> but we're back from our walk. We met the guys down the way. That's real fun. And now one's down here. I think Miyagi's going to cut a hole in the ice and polar plunge himself. I am not. I showed you those ribs in the beginning. I've been heating some up in the pan here and doling them out to the guys and myself for a little mid afternoon snack because now it's wood cutting time. It's like I say, the chores never quit. And you get with a group, I find, and you're talking and you're messing around and you forget to like drink enough water or realize you're kind of out of water because you haven't melted any snow, but we have a hole down in the lake where we can get some water and come up and, and boil it. And that does, uh, <clears throat> that does go quicker. And here's home. boys. Oh. Oh, they're, uh... Look how happy these guys are already. <laughs> 14 degrees out. <laughs> In tinglies. <laughs> and shorty shorts. <laughs> That's very Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you touch? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Camera. Oh. <laughs> Woo! All right. Turn, buddy. Okay. Good job, buddy. You want to head back up? Oh, wait on. Man, man. Oh. All the way down, baby. Yeah, just... uh, uh, okay. Oh. Okay. I hey. Oh, coming in tight. You going to go head under? Woo, buddy! Oh, yeah. Yeah. That. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Did you grab my camera? Yeah, we'll grab that stuff. We'll grab this stuff. Right. Don't you worry about that. We got you. Good man. Woo! Looking good on the wood. I love that hat. Right there, that snow hat that that tree is wearing. You can see all the different snows and freezes that have happened in there through the liars. Keep that in. So, Toots, <laughs> yeah. uh, That's what, what, we're saying. What, what are we looking at <laughs> for the third time? Let me guess. Yeah, so there's some, there's some boar bacon in there. Yeah. There's some bacon that Jeremy had, which is non-boar. There's going to be some bear balls. This is your fourth can of tomato paste. There's red and white onion, so there's an intermingling of the onion community, which I like, you know. Mm. Um, am I missing anything? There's no garlic. Well, my wife's bear balls. And they're not in there yet, right? Oh, they're not in okay, there. Okay, we're going to have to see. And we're all waiting Dude, because, you know, so today I'm talking. But she shot a bear all by herself. Yeah, listen listen to this. Okay. So today, Toots is standing there talking to me, too. And he's standing there going, uh, you know, my wife is just, you know, out on her solo, solo bear hunt. 
And he's just like saying this like, hey, yeah, you know, I just went and grabbed the stick to put on the fire. And we went, whoa, whose wife goes on a solo bear hunt? Is this that bear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and your wife's name is? Bits. Bits. Hey, Bits. Bits. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited. We haven't met, but I feel like I know you. I know more about you than you probably want me knowing. And it's all good stuff. It's stuff that I respect. It's true. I told him everything. But I re what I respect the most is that you set bear balls down here. And I'm not being dirty people that are catching on. It's a meatball made of bear. All right? Right? Right. Okay. 10-4. Okay. Capiche? Wakarimas? Eh? You got this? Good. Mm -hmm. I hear the, uh, the other campers scurrying around a bit now. The popping of the wood stove up there inside the hot tent. I got the Medagliadorio on. We're going to pack it up today. We're going to head out back to the cars and we're going to meet up with a few other guys and uh, head back out to another lake. And how's that for a deal? Oh, buddy. Yeah, so actually it's uh, minus 15 or 16. I'm kind of reading. My little thermometer hit lower level, but now it's it's kind of saying minus 11, so it came back to life. So as I have my morning brew, I'm sitting here kind of, uh, you know, you start thinking about, okay, i got to get my morning constitution. i got to tear all this down. we got to pack. we got to meet the other guys. A little bit of scurrying around, a little bit of rebooting, a little bit of meeting new people. Lots to do before we even get walking onto the other lake. And heading out, heading out to Duncan Lake. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, the three guys from the other camp down. <clears throat> we were eating that delicious chili that Toots made last night. Then we saw some light coming up the trail. We thought it was Milos might be coming to join us last night. Miyagi said he might be coming. It would have been pretty brave coming in in that dark and wind, but uh, wasn't him. So we'll see him today. But it was the three guys, Dan, um, Jamie, I think, or Josh, and Kurt. And they came walking up, and they were bearing marinated steak. But we were so full from this, you know, Toots made chili. He was planning for five guys because one guy's not here. And it was probably enough for ten guys. And, you know, chili's filling. And we just had to say, man... Guys, we appreciate it, but I'm full as a tick. I can I have nowhere to put it inside my body. So we had a visit and stuff, and pretty crazy. It ended up feeling like some kind of weird dual hammock hang. But shout out to you guys for the offer. Thank you. Really good. Here's the man in action right here. So Miyagi not only makes a breakfast, he comes out of his wonderful 60, 56 degree temperature. It's for you. For hot tent. It's for you. I have mine already. It's for him. It's for him. The lean machine. Oh. And here's the one he made me. Nice Lovely. Omelette in a tortilla. Oh, glory! There's where I was. That's where I'm not anymore. Now it's all getting in here. But he forgot his pop tarts. I would, I would he did. What do you guys? Hey, what do you guys do in there? What, 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 what do you do? <laughs> Welcome to our world. Oh, hey, Shug. oh, hello there.
Alright, we're all suited up. We're at the trailhead. We got our parking. Everybody's getting their pulks out. A lot of guys just drove here. Andy from Indiana. Uh, got a whole new crew. We're deciding if we're going to need snowshoes or not. We did need them this morning. I went ahead and put mine on because you are post holing. We're going to need them on the other lake. The portage is icy. Uh, what's the other deal? We still got three or four YouTubers on this trip, so there's going to be a lot of stop and go, stop and go. Here we go. Shug. Yeah. You ready for round two? I'm ready for round two. We've yeah. already done the work. Yeah, that's man. a nice jacket. That's a nice jacket. Yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah. What's your sector? Ah, well, mine's a uh, sector 33. Ah, oh, sector 33. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, sector seven. Different yeah. sector. <laughs> sector seven is the all work, no play sector. Ah. Oh, no, I mean the other way. It's all play, no work. You're yeah. a warring sector. You're going to have a fight. Is, I was uh, telling Milos you guys caught me working, but you know I was just I was just setting it, it was a show off deal. You know I uh, I actually uh, found myself in Sector Seven and I fell upside down and I was in Sector L. <laughs> That's Sector Lonely, my man. Sector Lonely. <laughs> I spend most of my time in Sector Nobody Loves Me. I'm just an enigma on YouTube. <laughs> Where did you, are those REI hiking pants? Do they come with the legs? These are, they come with the leg colored uh, type. Oh, nice. You know, the... Oh, that made your calf look really nice. Do that again. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Boy, there's a lot of nice calves on this trip. <laughs> oh, this video's going south already. There's going to be a lot of editing on this one. Now, the Indiana man, he, he's pretending to be a bend over again because you look like that's the person. That's the person playing the donkey in the Christmas pageant. That's his role in life. Nesting ritual. <laughs> We've come to a decision on camp. I had very little to do with it. I just liked that everybody was in the mood to kind of go, I don't care, let's just do it. There's no wind. Hello, I am the shoes. And the shoes is a bit far away from all the boys inside of the hut tent. So I don't have to hear the morning gas, conversation, wood chopping, popping, and maybe talking about me, the shoes. I'm over here in a lovely little place. I'm the only one hanging in the hammock. Or is me a gas? Is it hemic or hammock? Or hammock? To me it is a hammock. To some people it is a hammock. To some people it is a hammock. I love it out here in the boundary waters and we found a little place, a leeward side. I've just, I don't know where the accent went there. It's kind of got to be the Irish all of a sudden. We found the leeward side of the wind here. So we've had to stomp down here in the deep snow. It's pretty deep as you can see. I'm going to pull you off the tripod and show you. Back here, there's some some lovely deep snow. And a few other places you step to back there. You're kind of up to your nether regions in snow, with your snowshoe going under, but it's just pristine back here. But you can see those guys have a winter trekker and another hot tent they're setting up. So I'm only that far, right there. I'm kind of a lone wolf anyway. Kind of nice to be over here all by myself. And at the end of the night, I'll be able to come over to Hammock World. That's the place where the party is. It rocks over here, I'll tell you what. This is where you feel the funk, y'all. This little village going on down here. It takes a village. Right? It does take a village. It's funny how that happened. Now it's it's like home here now, isn't it? <laughs> home for days. Funny how that worked, huh? Yeah, like... Three nights ago, it was like... Uh, I don't know. Okay. We are through. And it's some thick ice. I would say that's 18 inches or more. That was actually some work, and you know I don't like work. Everybody's working hard, 
I'm going to heat up a few appetizer ribs, just knock the cold off of them. Pass those out because, you know, those guys with the hot tents got a lot of scurrying to do. Well, there's wood to cut for the fire, but I'm going to jump in and help. Got to get water going. Got my superior gear hammock. I'm all hooked up in red tape too. Go! Yeah! Woo, buddy! And we had Dinty Moore stew tonight, cooked by Rob. There was a biscuit in there, but I ate that already. God, I love me biscuit, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's some good eating. That was worth the count for sure. Mm. I don't know if you can just see, it's just been a steady, steady snow. Light. Finally laid up in the hammock here for the night. That Dinty Moore stew hit the spot. Man, I'm really enjoying my time with these guys. But those of us that have been out here, everybody seems a little tired tonight. And, uh, you know, we didn't get on the trail and had to get across the lake. And with, oh, those guys with those hot tents, you know, there's a lot of wood chopping, a lot of work getting those ready. So uh, a couple of them are kind of tired. People are going to try to get to bed early tonight. Early! So I'm crawled in and uh, feel good. I'm looking forward to get up and get a little bit more organized. i got one more night. Then I'm going home. They're staying out for a while. Snow has been steady and light all day, just covering everything. Can't wait to sleep. Looking forward to that. A little little brotherhood with the guys. Really enjoy getting to know these guys. Been way more fun than I thought it'd be. So uh, that's my evening report. Good night to you. Hope you have a good sleep. Hope your day goes great tomorrow. I hope mine does. I know mine will. I just hope yours does. Do you know if yours will? How could you possibly know that? Good night, everybody. Hello out there. Minus two degrees. Tuesday morning, I believe. I'm back in my little hidey hole away from <laughs> where everybody else is. I've set out a listening post. Gonna have to see what the day brings now. I think uh, it's gonna be a lot of cutting wood. I slept so good and warm last night. It was so warm when I went to bed, I don't know why. And uh, ate good. Did that drifty snow all night. It's just nice hearing it kind of slide off the tarp. Shh. Shh. And fetch some water, taking the glory of the morning. Wow. I mean, we're on the shady side, but there's going to be some good sun today, which means a cold day.
what that is. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, no, so I, I took that off. All right. Well, those are just how I like them right there. Nice and fluffy. Delicate. The key, the key is to add a little bit of milk to it. Oh, you bet. Yeah. Makes them nice and fluffy. All righty. Milos, I need your help in here. That was okay. one funky pot a while ago. Yeah, I put most of it in here. Milos, into the kitchen. <laughs> into the kitchen. You should have bitch and get in the kitchen. Here we go. pot. You better come on into the kitchen Cause it's gonna be snowing outdoors Oh, oh those look nice and tender yeah, I'm going to get my cook pot oh. Is this the gladiator pit? Yeah, this is where the fighting's gonna go on right here We're gonna, we're gonna have some uh, wrestling in here later on At dusk Good times. Yeah. Yeah. Good bonding. Perfect world going here. These people understand me. Milos brought the whole caramel bag of candy. And these are the figures I'm camping with. These men. Kinda. Shady looking characters. I like to feel like I'm sort of an outlaw with you guys. If I didn't know you guys were good guys, I wouldn't trust you. <laughs> I don't think I trust you anyway. You fall down, man. Fucker. Don't go Fraser. Hey, you got it. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it's Jackass meets Shawshank Redemption. Ah. <laughs> I'm your sister. I'm your sister. Oh, he's a white one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't step off the trail, buddy! <laughs> it looked like snow! I didn't realize I got both No, you got the right one. <laughs> Holy shit. The right one, not the wrong one. I promise myself I don't cry. I want to take the academy. Shoot me. I love you, guys. <laughs> I'm going to say it, I've had a really good time on this trip with these guys. They've been fun. Nobody shirked their duties. I had so much fun. It's my last night. And I think those guys are staying for two, two more nights, maybe three. Thanks, Miyagi, for putting the trip together. Love meeting all y'all. Camp with you anytime. Woo, buddy. All secured Sector 7. Pow. A little bit uh, crisp. What? Well, tonight we have a Milos Milosanya. 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 Oh, oh, yes. Oh. We're gonna play frisbee after this. Okay. <laughs> it glows in the dark. Milosanya. Uh,
I'm a burning man. I'm a burning man. Going to sleep at minus 10. I love it. I think I like it. Or maybe I don't like it at all. Oh, my medallia d'oro is steaming right there. I've never even had a sip yet. My final day. Got up early. Early! Have myself some breakfast. Have myself some coffee. Get it torn down. Hump on back to the Jeep. But before I do that, I'll say goodbye to the boys. And I think, uh, I think Miyagi's cooking some breakfast so that's it I'm getting to the coffee I got myself a little piece of shortbread there yeah, toted out some shortbread for the boys only a few pieces left because it was liked it and I'm gonna like it right now woo buddy I'm a thermodrop hit lower level Hopefully. My sprawl. Oh, there's nothing like that first sip of Medagliadoro instant espresso just shooting right through your body to get you ready. Man, laying in here warm and snug. I can see the sun starting to peek out and hit the uh, all the snow on top of the boughs out there in the woods, starting to glow. That's beautiful. It was fun to go with some other YouTubers. Although you realize everybody's stopping to film everything. So it should make some uh, interesting videos from all the perspectives. And these guys, like, they all love winter. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the rest of the ribs I brought with the guys because they got a couple more days. And then I'm going to pack leisurely. Get it on. Meg's going to take off and go join our daughter Ariel who's working on... Oh, uh, the Virgin Cruise Line. Meg's going for eight days. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do nothing but chores. Nothing but chores in practice. F1 season starting soon. I'm excited about that. So that's my news. All secure in Sector 7. Woo, buddy! So I had a bear visit camp this morning. He's a friendly, friendly old bear. You never know. Kind of like Balu, he's maybe sort of yogius, could be a little boo boo. He's an Indiana bear. We're looking for picnic baskets. <laughs> picnic -a basket, the picnic -a basket. So that's your uh, that's your winter wear right there, huh? You no, know, it makes it just a little more bearable out here. Aha! Uh -huh. Ba bum bum. <laughs> uh, I had to get it so it was big enough that it fits over my layers, yeah. so that way you can walk around and do some chores. And, and it is the bare necessities. That's right, just the bare necessities. It's the simple bare necessities, the simple bare necessities of life. Woo! Oh, the bear herd campers. That little tail. <laughs> uh. One. Okay, can I go now? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. We'll be doing it again, man. Yeah. Can't see you guys anytime. Yeah, man. Thanks for inviting me. I really appreciate it and everything you did. Everything all of you did. You entertained me a little bit after this. Hey, be safe on the way back, okay? Yeah. All right, I found the portage and we were back that way. And uh, at this point, now that I've said goodbye and got a little distance, I'm ready to get home, ready to get on that recliner, ready to get in that jacuzzi, ready to see my wife Meg, ready to play some bass, ready to play some mandolin. Woo, buddy! <laughs>